Today is pickling day. I love to have stash of pickles in my fridge to spice up any meal. So, let's start with sauerkraut. White cabbage is usually the popular option, but I thought I'll switch it up this time. It contains probiotics, just like the ones in yogurt, so it's very healthy for you. Once you add the salt, let it sit in room temperature for one hour. You gotta let it sweat. Now flavor your sauerkraut. I like to add some chopped garlic and pepper because I think that's a really good combo and let it ferment at a room temperature for a week and it's ready to be served. This turnip and beet pickles is going to make you addicted. These are so good with Middle Eastern rice dishes. Cut your turnips and beets into thin stripes or julienne cut or any way you want really, just have fun with it. For the pickling juice, this is what my mom told me. Always remember the ratio of 2 to 5. Every 2 tablespoons of vinegar, you need 5 tablespoons of sugar. I know it's a lot, but trust me, it's going to be very tasty. Also, add a dash of salt to the pickling juice. After 7 days, you'll get a very flavorful pink pickled turnip. Last but not least, pickled radish and carrots. This is awesome on bun mi or any sandwich really with a bit of vegan mayonnaise, some herbs and rustic bread. Mm, it's to die for. And that's it! Now your fridge is filled with colorful pickles for days. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!